One of these days, this game will give me a sunny day all stream long instead of this dark and dreary stuff. All right, I think the plan is gonna be go to Great Swamps. We need to grab these two stashes. Main reason why we really need weapons that we can upgrade. We do have a couple of cool weapons, but we don't have the parts for it. So we still need to search for more stuff. We have plenty of ammo, luckily. So uh, we shouldn't have any problems in the Great Swamps. Dude, wh why are there so many rats, dude? There's like rats everywhere now. All right, to the Great Swamps we go. All right, let's be careful. I have a mission right in front of me, and apparently this is the first time I've been in the Great Swamps. And uh, yeah, let's see how well this goes. Well, he's dead. All right. Oh, oh, dude, he hit me hard. Oh, Jesus, man. Okay, there's got to be more. Oh, wow, dude, the bandits destroyed me. Oh, I really don't have many slugs, but I guess I'm going to swap into some slug rounds real quick. That'd be the smarter idea. All right. Boom. One head shot. Wait, where's the other guy? Huh? Wait, where was the guy that was over on the left side? What? Oh. oh. Well, if I die again to bandits, then I'm just terrible. Like, I have bad armor on and, like, no helmet technically. So, it's not too bad to die to them but like this is this is terrible here this guy over here seems to be the one that i'm having a problem with so let's see if i can sneak around to him oh there there he is there he is did i just miss did I i'm terrible like technically i did change my mouse sensitivity earlier but that should not be causing me to aim this badly like this is terrible also i love that my companions just aren't helping at all like they didn't shoot at the bandits like at all Okay, yeah, my mouse sensitivity is kind of messing me up. I feel like I should have hit that one. Here, nope. But see, see, look, they're not doing anything. All right, he's down. Come on, come on, you guys, you guys kill him. I got a bandage up. I got a bandage up. I think I hear him walking around on the wood right here. No, 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 that's my companion. Nope, that was him. All right, you know what? This is terrible. There you go. That works. Wait, that was a clear the research area quest? I thought I killed all the ecologists. Oh, huh, yeah, apparently I did accept that. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna turn that in. Also, how am I still bleeding, dude? He destroyed me, holy. Oh God, we're getting shot at. Or, ah, oh, he was destroying a box, thank you, okay. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. M40 gas mask, I will definitely be taking that. That's actually great, that's amazing. And this AK has some good parts on it. Go ahead and just disassemble that real quick. Yeah, I truly cannot believe just how bad of a shot I was. Oh, wow, this guy, <laughs> the guy I killed first only had a taw as well. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have killed him first. Yeah, there's like nothing on the ground. I noticed in EFP, we don't really have that many like things sitting on the ground. Also, what in the world can I take from my chest? I just realized like, I don't even know. Yeah, like I can use surgical instruments and antibiotics. Are antibiotics really the only good thing for the chest? Well, this is a dumb idea, but I'm not going to heal myself because I want to see at the clear sky base at the medic if there's anything else that would heal my chest. Okay, well, this ecologist isn't mad at me. See, he's not, uh, he's not angry with me. So maybe it was just just the guys over at the uh, ecologist base. Yeah, because here's another ecologist. Yeah, they're all chill. Uh, revenge killing updated. Cool. How fast do you heal next to a campfire in EFP? Let me see. Wait, revenge killing failed. Huh? So wait, I completed it and then I failed it immediately. I wonder who I was supposed to turn it into and where they died at. By the way, I noticed if I like remove the HUD from my screen like this. Oops. Well, that didn't prove my point. I was going to say if I remove the HUD from my screen, the uh, frame rate goes up by like five. Wow, dude, Clear Sky's got this spot really, like, decked out. A lot more people than normal. Wait, Sloth Anomaly? Is this the one that, like, spawns that ghost that kills me? Let me uh, drop a quick save. Is, it, is this the one? I'm just curious. Wait, no? Wait, what did that do? Yo, what in the world? Okay, I'm confused what that does. All right, I might as well see if these guys have any interesting quests. Like, sure, I'll, I'll kill some stuff. What in the world? Glue tube, A. Hey. That's why destroying stuff is uh, still a smart idea. You never know. You get some glue tubes. All right, we should actually have a green stash nearby, right? Uh, oh, it's inside the base. Oh, I think that's the one that's like in that weird location. Hold on. Yeah, I don't get why people like download stuff, then change a million things and then complain about it. It makes no sense. It's like, dude, if it worked when you downloaded it, and then you change stuff and it doesn't work. Like th th that's that's not our fault. Like it can't be our fault. That's not how it works. Oh, okay. Never mind. This stash is the one that's inside there. I was thinking it was going to be this stash over here. Because I don't know if you know, there is a stash right here inside this radio. And you have to get in a weird position in order to access it. It's so weird. See, right there. Right there. You have to, like, look at it from the side. Also, uh, it's blowing out my screen again. That's interesting. 
So the fact that that happens in both EFP and Gamma leads me to believe that has to be screen space shaders that's uh, messing that up. All right, let's see. The sash should be... Wait, it says it's right here. So I guess it's on the roof. Uh, or it's not on the roof. Okay, so apparently I'm like uh, blind. It's not in the back corner. I am I going crazy? I don't see where this is. Okay, look, I know sometimes I'm like really dumb and I can't find things, but this seems uh, to be beyond that. I lost also never knew there was a stash there. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. Okay, wait, I got, I've got a great idea, guys. Normally, if I set a waypoint, so let's see, set waypoint, what does it call it? Oh, it just calls it an unknown stash. Okay, well, that's annoying. You know what? Screw it. I just want to see real quick. If I right click and I do, let me drop a quick save just to be safe. Fast travel. Yeah, it puts me on top. Wait. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? You have to stand on top of the barrel and click F in order to, act oh my God. So you can't, because I was going like this. Look, see, I can't access it from the side. You have to be on top of it. That is so weird. Literally, no wonder I, I didn't know that was a stash because like, why would you have to stand on top of it? All right, well, I guess first we should see if there's any quests and if so, uh, we will go up here and make sure to get that stash. Oh, PDA is getting dark. Let me uh, find a new battery. Where is battery, battery? I am so blind, dude. One of these days, someone's gonna make a mod where I can just like search, uh, you know, search for uh, stuff. Great Swamp Bandit, sure. Great Swamp Mutant, sure. I would start the Clear Sky quest line, but at the same time, I don't want there to be a ton of renegades at the pump station yet. In the description, there is a Discord. That is our Discord. I recommend you join it if you haven't already. Reason why, if you have a VR headset, Into the Radius 2 comes out on July 24th, so only three days away. It has co-op, and guess what? They're sending me a review key. So if you have a VR setup and you plan on playing Into the Radius 2, we need to play. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't know anyone else who, who's going to get the, the game. Because I don't know many people with VR setups. So if, if you got a VR setup and you're getting into the Radius 2, fucking join the Discord, dude. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I'm, like, running away from base. I just realized I need to heal myself still. What am I doing? Yeah, because I, I don't know about you, but, like, half the time my inventory is such a mess that it takes me, like, a year to find something, even though it really shouldn't. Like, I should know where everything is organized by now, but it still takes me forever. Okay, let me go ahead and just repair this up before I forget. Ooh, you repaired the item without using a repair kit. That's nice. Anyways. I need medical assistance and heal my wounds. There we go. So worth it. Wait, he wants an IFAC. Can't I just like buy one off him and give it to him? Here, dude. Let me buy it. Let's see how much he gives me. All right, so ready? Job is done. And wow, dude. I just made 700 or 7,000. I should buy some purifying pills because I'm going to need them eventually. Yeah, they don't really have anything for, um, for your chest. They don't even have antibiotics here. Like what? Oh, okay. So you use antibiotics and some other stuff to make ibuprofen painkillers. Okay, I see. I've never seen this stuff before. I've never used this stuff. The uh, like boar's hoof and all this other stuff. I've never used any of this. I guess it'd be, it could be cool to use this stuff later on, you know, try it out. Apex Predator. Oh my God, that needs chunk of Chimera. Chimera heart cocaine purified water jesus hey man at least he's getting some water in there you got to make it healthy yeah it's really cool that cm games offered to send me uh okay that's actually really nice I've, I, I've always loved into the radius i played it so much when i first got my vr headset oh what in the what what, what wait what in the world is going on here hello oh, oh oh my god that scared me oh my god i was not expecting it to just blow up holy crap okay my heart i'm not even joking you that scared the living shit out of me like, I was like, why Why are they spinning around? What is going on? Because the, the, the anomaly wasn't here. They were just spinning in circles, right? Oh, my God. Oh, God. That was like three lurkers making noise at the same time. Um, I don't... I, I You know, uh, and, and, and here are some dogs. Oh, okay. It was just those two. That's the thing I do love about EFP, though. I didn't even see him. I just kind of, like, shot right there, and it still killed him. That's great. Oh! Oh! No! Save me! Oh! Save me! All right. I'm alive. Uh, it did destroy my armor actually quite a bit. But, hey, I'm alive, and that's all that matters. I really need to get new armor. Like, that that should be the goal of this episode, honestly. Besides getting uh, a weapon repaired, we really need new armor. Like, badly. Dude, I keep hearing these lurkers, like, scream from afar. And it's, like, the scariest thing in the world when you can't see them. There they are. There you go. I swear I heard three. Is it Was it just two? Oh, it was just two. I swear I heard a third one. But, hey, 
Oh god, dude, this armor is just trash. I do honestly like the way that EFP does their armor repair system. Because in Gamma, once you get it to like 65%, you can just repair it all the way up to 100. But with uh, EFP, you actually do need to repair the individual parts to raise the like uh, ballistics number, right? Yeah, fabric's integrity. That's what you got to raise. Because I... Oh, oh, are you... Oh, there we go. I'm fine. Oh, oh! Geez. Dude, what in the world is going on? I just wasn't expecting that tall grass to be hiding them. Well, hey, I guess now I know for a fact there's freaking renegades there. Like, wait. I guess they must have been roaming, though, because, yeah, they probably came from here. All right, let's sit here and regain some stamina before I uh, do stupid stuff. All right, they were right here. Excuse me? Wait, they were right here. Huh? They were literally right here. Where did they go? Well, since I don't see them, I guess I'm just gonna search the sash. And wow, basic, oh my God, a hundred buckshot? That's that's kind of insane, holy. Now I am kind of like slightly concerned about where in the world, oh, I should probably go up here and actually do the main quest. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Let's go do that real quick too. As I was saying, I am slightly concerned about where the renegades went, but as long as they don't interrupt me while I'm drinking water, we'll be fine. Oh, oh, there they are. Bad timing, cause uh, I'm pretty far away. Does this not go through the... Oh, it does hit. Why aren't they shooting at me? Wait, what's going on? Why aren't they shooting at me? Can they not see me? Huh? Okay, that was really weird. Oh, I swear my companions, they do this every time. Dude, they shoot me. At least it didn't deal any damage this time. But, like, dude, come on. I thought that was disabled because it's too broken. Like, the uh, foliage thing. I'm, I thought that was disabled. It doesn't? Yeah, that's what I thought. Because um, it's too overpowered. Yeah, because I was going to say, the reason uh, you're not really supposed to enable the mod where NPCs can't see through foliage is it's too OP. For example, I could stand like this, and they would not be able to see me at all just by the fact that my head's poking out. I'd be completely hidden. All right, well, I see another dude over there. I'm assuming that's another renegade. I love that he, like, said no to all those shots. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Oop. There you go. Oh, cool. Oh, this is the guy that found that chain earlier, remember? He was in chat saying, oh, I found a chain. I found a chain. Dude, that's cool that I came across him. Oh, God. I just heard them say a million things, dude. Oh, no. There's, like, a bunch of renegades, aren't there? Uh, Guys, can you, like, not come towards me, maybe? Look, all I wanted to do was kill that one guy. Oh, yep. No. They, oh, wow. The armor insert absorbed the impact. Oh, dude. There's a lot of them. Oh, no, dude. There's a lot of them. All right, I, like, have no slugs, so we're just going to have to, you know, rush in, I guess. Oh, crap. I'm out of stamina. Um. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to sit in the bush. I hear a guy. I hear a guy. Oh, come on, dude. Dude, there's no way you should survive all those bullets. I love that they're just talking about rats in chat. It looks like a rat is approaching, unless they're, they're talking about me. Oh, here he is. Dude. 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 Holy crap, dude. Point blank range. Here, here. Put, put the good one in. Put the good one in. There we go. 94%. That should absorb some impacts. Oh, I think they killed the last guy. I hear him bleeding out. I can't believe he, like, took all those bullets, though. That's crazy. All right. I wonder where this guy was, because I actually didn't see him. I'd assume he was further back this way, where the campfire is now. Uh, well, he was a renegade. More than likely, he didn't have anything too amazing on him. I am being, like, way down, and also, my dude's hungry, so here, just eat the chocolate bar. Dude, that, that looks great. That chocolate looks great. Now it's a half-consumed chocolate bar. All right, let's see. Is this the, uh, little... Yep, here's the break in the fence. I mean, technically, I could go all the way around and just, like, ledge grab, but, eh. Yeah, I either need some, like, caffeine tablets, or I need... Actually, uh, I wonder if I equip the chain, actually. I mean, yeah, that lowers my satiety by one. But I feel like the, the weight is more worth it. I could be wrong. Let's see how fast I get hungry again. Because while minus one doesn't sound like a whole lot, for all I know, minus one is like insane. Yeah, dude, I'm really hoping my keyboard doesn't die. It's been like messing up recently. Uh, like when I click certain buttons, it just doesn't register. And to be fair, I've had this Black Widow keyboard since 2011. But at the same time, 
Um, you know, I don't exactly want to spend like a hundred something dollars on a keyboard. Hello, I am here to see you, Doc. Doc is alive. Yep, yep, we'll do see you. There we go, Living Legends, old friend. Now, technically, I think we do have the Mysteries of the Zone um, mod, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, see, we can do Mysteries of the Zone if we want to. Oh my god, yep, there we go. Yeah, so I may or may not reload a save because I don't want this all over my map because you can tell he wants me to investigate literally every place. Yep, all right. We'll do Mysteries of the Zone later at some point. I just don't want my map to be filled with exclamation points for now. Oh my God, guys, can you stop getting into gunfights? Like, oh my God, dude, look at them running through there. Guys, this is ridiculous. And I'm not gonna help him either. I'm just gonna run away because I don't have any slug rounds. Get his weapon. Yeah, thank you for reminding me that I can kill Gatekeeper. Yep, I forgot about that again. Glad you mentioned it. Ooh, we have a stash like literally right as we get into aggro prom, and then we also have underground hideout. So maybe we should uh go do that actually. Sure. Fedalox hideout is nothing to worry about, right, guys? We are always good at doing it. If I had a grenade, I would go the bandit way so I can kill all of them, but I'm probably just gonna go the uh back way again. Oh hi, helicopter. Um hi, uh Good seeing you around. Anyways, let's ignore the scary helicopter and get the stash. Oh, light repair kit, a lot of ammo. I mean, hey, this isn't that bad. All right, now, obviously, I'm really concerned about the military, so we're going to just, like, try our best to uh, skirt around them and avoid them. While the military won't shoot me in Cordon because of Sidorovich's deal with them, they will shoot me everywhere else. So, yeah, we're we're not going to risk it. Hold on. What are you guys doing? Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Dude, I don't know who he just shot at. No. Bro, I don't see no one, but no, 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 no. We don't shoot at like any direction toward the military. All right, now we have to be careful here because as we learned last time, Agroprom over here is not safe. There are mutants. I did see the fire was on up there, so I wonder who turned that on. Either way, I think it's a good idea to just come down here and go to uh, the hideout. All right, what are our guesses? Is it going to be Bloodsucker? Is it going to be Sucker? Or is it going to be uh, Poltergeist? So, right, oh my god, that's severely toxic right there. Holy, um, crap, I did not know this place. Oh, I guess this is a part of the redone collection. He's made it like way worse down here. Oh, that's not good. Maybe I can just run? So, I don't know, let's just go. Let's just go. Okay, that's not that bad. So, um, there's no mutants, and I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or not, because I haven't read the patch notes for this area for redone collection. So, I'm a bit scared right now. I'm just gonna take a peek over here. No? Okay, this is really strange. Yeah, I think the smart idea would be to just go in the hideout real quick. Once we uh, loot his notebook and everything, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll explore the rest of this place and see what's down here. Oh my God, a shovel just popped out of there. All right, let's grab that. And then his notebook, can of tuna military documents which i'm totally gonna use oh wait my guy's in combat right now i wonder with who wait i see bandits this is bandits we're in some deep shit and they said agroprom underground tunnel all right well uh you know let's drop a quick save here and i think uh let's explore a bit let's see what all's here oh bunch of snorks i swear sometimes my bullets just don't hit right all right let's do this again Bro, they, dude, they broke the box. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not going to work for me. Holy crap. All right, so if there's some advice I could give to the redone creator, I would add something in this hallway. I don't know if it's like an option that it could be in the hallway or not, like if it's a, a chance. But either way, it was way too easy to come down here and just go inside the hideout. Technically, I could leave right now. It's just my curiosity that makes me want to see what's going on. Jesus. All right, as we bleed out, let's run, because I want to see now. Yeah, so there was another one that got caught. So who's in here then? Because there was snorks there, but there's nothing in here. Yeah, there's like, oh, I hear something now. Oh, it's just more snorks. That's so weird. Yeah. 
I feel it was just like a bit too easy to get to uh, Sherlock's hideout. Oh, great. You know, I was talking about earlier this episode, I'd love if it was like sunshine and rainbows, but instead it decides to rain. I'm curious if there's anyone here now, because I did I did clear out the place, you know, I did kill the bandit that was here and I did kill all the mutants, but uh, no, it doesn't look like anyone's uh, decided to come here yet. Now, I really shouldn't do this, but I'm actually really curious if the ecologists are still somehow mad at me, even though I should have killed them all, because I do have a quest to turn in there. I actually have two quests to do technically. I've recovered the tracking device. You know, it's not like I killed the ecologists on purpose, so. Uh, I don't know who they're fighting. Wait, there's something here. Oh, it's just dogs. There you go. Duty? Wait, Duty heard me in aggro prom. Where is Duty at? I guess it would make sense that they're at the military base, maybe? All right, anything going on down here? I mean, last time I came here, there was a couple of uh, dogs, and I think I just saw a snork. Yeah, yeah, there's just a snork down there. That's not that big of a deal. Wait, who am I supposed to deliver this package to? I just remembered that I have that thing, and it's weighing me down a lot. Well, time to see if the ecologists are still mad, if there are any. All right, well, let's see. I do hear some gunfire over to our left, so there is people here. I mean, the entire faction shouldn't still be mad at me, because, oh, well, here's a dead body. Oh, nope, they are still mad at me. You know, I really don't hate you guys. Jesus. Dude, the amount of shots it took to take down this guy is insane. I mean, yeah, he's got an exo, but ooh, okay. Come on, I'm your friend, right? I'm your friend, see? See? Yeah, see? He oh, well, I'm getting shot at by someone else. Oh, now they're shooting at me. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Come on, you can hit better than this. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I guess they just like remember the fact that I was here because yeah, my reputation with them is uh, fine. See, it's 166, it's not negative. So they, they really shouldn't be angry with me, but they are. Maybe I can like sneak around to the front to turn in the quest. Because maybe it's just that EXO guy who was maybe here last time who's angry at me. But yeah, there he is. Yeah, maybe maybe I need to repair like a clear sky suit or something. All right, here, let's just see if we can turn the quest in. I don't even care if they shoot at me. Just let me turn. Oh, see, these guys don't care about me. All right, there we go. Job is done. Oh, oops, sorry, wrong, wrong thing. Job is done. Ooh, 11K in a cordon sash. Nice. And of course, it's a freaking purple, dude. But yeah, no, we're going, we're going back to Rostock now. We got a ton of stuff we need to drop off, so we kind of have to go. Yep, hearing the gunfire over there, but I'm just going to ignore it. I don't care. I need to get back to Rostock. Sorry. All right, I do need more slug rounds, so I should probably come over here. And what's this? Drug runner? Ooh, okay. Yeah, I definitely should grab that real quick while we're here. I mean, it's going to weigh a lot, but I should definitely grab it. I can put it on the Freedom, dude, because I kind of have to bring him back to Freedom Base anyways. All right. And wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. I already have the drug runner case. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yep. I already have it. I just forgot about it. Hey, boys. How's it going? All right, Butcher. Give me all them slugs. That's right, brother. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to buy. I've got plenty of that. You know, I, I, I almost really badly want to buy this. I could 100% buy this Remington. And then I could maybe buy... Oh my god, dude. This Deer Hunter kit? I mean, that makes sense. It's a .338, so it's really expensive. But like, dude, I could get a Deer Hunter. Dude, if I had a little bit more money, we could get a Deer Hunter. That'd be funny. Although a sniper would be cool, we kind of need like an actual automatic weapon so I can go and do Brain Scorcher. I need something to where I can just like absolutely destroy the monolith in quick success. There you go. Call hunting. Grab that. Rescue Army Warehouse. Sure, I'll grab that for later. A dude actually wants Side Dog for it. That's surprising. Okay, well, I guess I got to run back in here to turn that in. Right, another question is how much are you going to give me for it? Let's see job is done and wow that is really poor but then again in efp you get a ton a ton of like mutant parts so it's not that bad like, that is the one crazy thing about efp like when you when you freaking butcher an animal you get like an insane amount of stuff like i remember one time uh i did it i, I butchered a, the cat and it gave me like eight claws and i'm like bro what in the world all right while i'm here let me just see what this guy has again see if there's any guns that are interesting oh yeah that's right he mainly has the ar which you know that's that's pretty expensive i'm i'm gonna be repairing one of these up so i really don't need to buy one so i'm just gonna ignore that for now now the real question is how much does this cost 56k for that much better of a backpack dude i might just buy this you know what yeah no nope, i'm buying it dude Give me that better backpack. Hey, buddy, how much would the backpack be if I sold it back to you? Oh, my God. He takes these for nothing. Holy crap. Oh, coal hunting updated. Cool. Uh, I totally did that. I still love that it spawns you when facing a wall like this. It's like, hi, wall. Hello, duty brothers. I am back. Ah, yes, meadows. Sure, I will totally go to meadows. Bandits. No, I'm not going to dead city. I am sorry. Uh, there's a lot of these turn-in quests. It's just like, do I feel like... 
doing all of them i guess i could i mean they're money right all right first off let's drop off everything that's kind of like the thing we need to do immediately yeah definitely grab that mask because i'm really curious to see uh if i can repair it or not all right yeah since i have that second basic tools i might as well give him uh the tools basic tools and job is done nice now if i ask him to upgrade i should be able to oh five kilograms dude more look at that that's so nice all right i think we should we should go ahead and do is repair this gas mask if we can because that'd be great i don't have any of the char or acc that's interesting oh this has some acc though go ahead and disassemble that oh i can't repair from in here yeah okay i i didn't know i 100 must use the bench all right let me use your vice buddy real quick there we go got it i got five minutes go over here and repair and we should 98 and 87 that's close enough there we go 82 and now just go ahead boom that's at 100 there we go perfectly good helmet now now the real question is do i have any armor that i grabbed i don't think so no okay well this is bad i was really hoping we had some armor to repair actually now that i think about it i haven't really been finding armor at all have have you guys noticed that i feel like armor is like the one thing we haven't found much of well either way what we could do if we get that to 100 that to 85 oh even even with that it's still max of 88 i really need these polymer sheets okay let's see can i craft this so i would need fuel armor and scrap yikes i don't have scrap and i don't know how much each thing i disassemble gives all right well, let's see i grabbed a few things let's see dismantle batch oh that gives so little oh no that's so little all right well let's just do this get that to uh freaking 87 that's good enough for now i might be able to use like a light armor repair kit on it maybe to get it up more no new 100 out of 84 yes yeah, so i don't think that's not how that's gonna work the barrel on this is getting a, a bit lower. I wonder, do I have any, um, there you go. Put a 100% barrel in it. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so final thing. Let's see if we can repair maybe this honey badger because I, I really do want to try it out if I can. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God. Wait, I actually have the stuff to repair this now. Dude, we can do the honey badger right now. Let's go. Ooh, I need more files. I think, wait, didn't I have a lot of files? Oh yeah, they're in here. There we go. How much of that do I have? I mean, whatever. Just use industrial grease. Who cares? Ooh, I even have a 100% barrel. Wow, this is perfect. We can actually repair the honey badger. Oh my God. 100, 100, 100, 94, and 100. Boom. Look at that. Oh, we got a honey badger, boys. We got a honey badger. We actually have a gun that has magazines and oh my god of course because why wouldn't this happen now well that's fine the only thing i don't like about it is the acog so we're definitely gonna have to get a new scope oh dude this is great now let's see how much ammo we have that's a good question uh we got a big mix of ammo we got not a whole lot though yep just gonna slowly fill up my magazines right now there we go reload that nice you know, even though we couldn't repair the AS Val, which is the one that we've been wanting to repair, that's fine. And the Galil. The Galil is kind of like my number one weapon that I wish to repair. Yeah, see, we only have two parts for the Galil. Wait a second. These are the same parts, I think. Oh my god, except for the, uh... They're, they're like most of the same parts. Well, we could have repaired the Galil, I guess, but nope. We're just gonna ignore it. All right, well, now that that's over with, might as well turn in some quests. We have, as you can see, a million to turn in, so let's get going. We're also gonna need to buy a scope in a second. AU, job is done. There we go. Side skin, 2100. Not very good, but it's whatever. Job is done on that. Bloodsucker heart. Wow, he gave me nothing for that. You know, as I said, we do get a lot of mutant parts in EFP, but like, dude, that's a bloodsucker heart. Come on. And then you, job is done. Garbage. Nice. And it's a green surrounded by a triangle of missions. Oh, while I'm over here. Good idea. Let's uh, fill up the canteen. Come over here and boil all. And now that we boiled it, uh, we can drag this in here and boom, there we go. We got some nice purified water. There we go, job on that. How knowing is at the battle. Agroprom sash for a controller hand. All right, my guy is hungry once again, which means yeah, I am kind of like losing hunger pretty quickly. Job is done on Pseudodog for cordon stash. Wow, dude, $378 and that's it. That's crazy. Job is done on you. Controller brain tissue, 4,000. I mean, that's more like it, but it's still pretty cheap. Yo, dude, look at this guy, dude. He's all gillied out. All right, job is done on those documents. Job is done on Pseudodogtail. And finally, I've got information on Strelok. Yep. There we go. Living Legend, Call of the North, and Living Legend Breakthrough. Found some old documents. Are you interested? Here, take a look. 12K rubles. 13K rubles. There we go. Yep, there we go. Here you go, Barkeep. I gave him the military document and the side research documents. Nice. Oh, he gave me a car. Nice. Oh, wait, what am I doing? While I'm down here, I should probably buy some food. There you go. Put the scope on this. There we go, dude. Look at this. We finally have a good gun. So nice. What is this stimulant injector? Psy resistance 22% and weight carried plus 5K. That's interesting. I guess if I ever really badly need to go into a Psy field, I can definitely use that. I find it crazy. They're still like hunkering down like there's a... Uh, 
a mission going on. Wait, 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 what? Neutralize target for Petrenko. Freedom in Rostock. Wait, is he talking about my companion? Hold on, Sergeant Petrov. Hold on, hold on, where's my companion? Oh my God, he wants me to kill my companion. Look, Senior Sergeant Petrov. Wow, dude. He wants me to betray my bro, who I'm gonna be turning in soon. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Okay, yeah, I need to get rid of some of this puck shot. I have freaking 200 rounds on me. Holy crap, that's just weighing me down. I'll have to unequip it. Remind me, unequip this before I sleep. Because otherwise my dude's gonna get like insane starving. Yeah, see, now that we have the honey badger, honestly, if we can get a bunch of ammo, we should be able to do brain scorcher. I would prefer to get some like medium armor though, but the likelihood of that is very low so far, it seems. I don't know why armor is so hard to come across in EFB. Yeah, more than likely, I'll just have to end up buying new armor, but you know, my brain is still very adverse to buying armor for some reason. Same thing with weapons. That's why I repaired the honey badger instead of just buying an ADAR or something. It's like, man, if I can just make it or repair it myself, then I'll just do it. Wait, what? Two mo Wait, they're invading the barrier right now? Oh, is it because I already talked to, um, Oh, it's because I already talked to Gatekeeper. Okay, that's very weird that that's happening. Um, cool. Wait, wait, wait. Also, hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw a search and rescue on my map. Huh? Monolith killed Dennis Rogue from Freedom. Ah, dude, they're killing Freedom. That's kind of messed up, dude. Yeah, what in the world? There's just a duty guy, like, here, huh? Okay, come with me, brother. Uh, cool. Maybe before I turn in this Freedom guy, we should maybe go try to kill the Monolith. Though it is nighttime. I don't know how well this is going to work. If I sleep to daytime, I wonder if they'll die, huh? Oops, I totally meant to ram into that. I mean, we can head over there right now. Let's see. Oh, dude, I'm hearing all that gunfire over there. By the way, I should mention this for the record. The reason I have this tier three freaking headlamp is because originally this was not meant to be an EFP series. It was meant to be a test. You know, we were supposed to go around and test the mods. So that's why I uh, have this. Oh, I hear monolith. Yep. Yeah. Oh, dude, they're... Oh, no, they're fighting Gatekeeper. Oh, great. Well, this looks great. Oh, dude, gatekeepers are fighting by himself. Oh. Dude, did gatekeeper really kill that many dudes? Yeah, what in the world, dude? Whoa, M16A4, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, dude, look at how many monolith he killed, like, by himself. My man is insane. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap. I love that there's like a ton of gunfire going on around me and I'm just over here like unloading ammo. Like, yeah, there's nothing to worry about. You know, we're just, we're just unloading some ammo. Who, wait, who did he just shot? Shoot, I heard that. Oh, is this monolith just like pretending to be uh, dead, I guess? Dude, there's just like so much stuff to loot. Oh, guys, M50Z. I know we just repaired it or our, uh, we, we just repaired our helmet, but like, dude, M50Z. Oh, the game crashed. <laughs> game crash yeah two two only two crashes so far and we've put like i've played like what is this this is technically i think episode six stream two hours each time so 12 hours so in 12 hours we've only had two crashes oops i just reloaded i keep doing that on accident i keep clicking r all right this time i promise i will help him i just need to make it back as fast as possible i'm coming gatekeeper i'll help you but that's interesting to know that if you talk to gatekeeper first and then accept the quest for uh the barrier then this happens. Oh, wait, what? Dude, he finished it by himself. I didn't even get to help him this time. Oh, dude, he's like, he's like looting them all too. No, dude, he's looting them all. No. Yeah, I can't believe the dude just like killed them all by himself. Ooh, a Remington. Oh my God. Dude, look at this guy. Dude, this guy was insane. He has freaking like a million weapons on him. Holy. That freedom guy must have been around for a long time, dude. It doesn't look like there's like any dead bodies like deeper in. So I guess they just kind of spawned up ahead. Oh yeah, here's this guy. Thank you. I'm glad I found him again because uh, I, I would like to uh, take his stuff. The M16A4 is such an interesting gun. Like I almost want to take it. But yeah, Gatekeeper looted some bodies. So uh, I think he looted him. There was another guy here. Maybe the other guy looted him, but uh. Wait, wait, wait. Technically, I, I have stealth turned on, I think, right? Let me check. Oh. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. I think my man's invincible. Oh, I have to talk to him. Oh, yeah. That was a close call. Any advice for me? Yep. I forgot I needed to talk to him. All right, now. Yeah, I don't think I can kill him. I mean, technically what I could do, I think is like, uh, can't you like target and then put, <laughs> oops. There we go, he's now dead. 
That's what. That's right. That's what you get, buddy. Wait, he didn't have anything on him. Oops. I guess the other guy is the one that. Uh. Yikes. Uh. So. Uh. Where'd that other guy go? <laughs> yeah, I definitely uh do feel a little bit bad about killing Gatekeeper for quite literally no reason. Now that I know that uh he didn't pick up anything, I get why they have the mod to protect important NPCs, but like. The mod should be disabled after we finish the mission because Gatekeeper is literally useless now. Like, there's no reason for him to be alive. I mean that in a nice way, by the way. I'm not saying that, you know, Gatekeeper's life is useless or anything like that. And I know that's what it sounded like, but no, you know, he's he's a cool dude, right? Right? I still love that duty is like literally right outside the freedom base. <laughs> like, they're trapping freedom in. Shadow test uh... Oh, dude, what's the gunfire going on in there? Wait. Wait, that's behind us. What's going on? Who did you kill? Oh wait, oh no, the freedom guy killed a duty member, right? Is that what he just did? Wait, there's the blood. Wait, where's the duty member? Oh my God, here he is. He freaking killed the duty guy, why? Okay, well I know why, but like, you know, why? I love that I was literally just talking about how, oh, duty has them trapped in and then that happened. All right, for now, let's take the chain off so that we can let my dude go to sleep. And then also our freedom guy, we can turn him in. Let's make sure, yep, he doesn't have anything on him. So uh, yeah, let's let's turn him in and go get that uh, purple sash. All right, and job is done. And wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Oh, is it because the guy isn't close enough? There we go. Wait, no? Oh, okay, it did disappear him. Okay, I was just making sure. All right, let's see, where is this? Oh no, it's on the other side. It's the one that's like really annoying to get. I hate this stash, dude. Why do I keep getting it? If you don't know why this stash is annoying, you'll see it real soon. All right, the reason this is annoying is, besides the radiation that's back here, uh, you just kind of slip. And so you have to find a really weird way to get up here. Normally I do this and then go along here until I can, Oh, I gotta wait. Oh wait, look on the map. Oh, it's not in the tunnel. You're right. I'm just stupid. My brain just doesn't work. Sorry. I mean, I, I feel like that's obvious by now, but like, you know. All right, let's see right here. And oh, another expert, dude. Let's go. Let's go. That's so good. That's so good. We can like immediately turn in our advance and the expert because why not, dude? That's great. We'll have to do that next time we get back to uh, duty base. All right, my guy, it's time to give you some beauty sleep. See, look, there's already some dudes in here chilling, you know? They're already going to sleep. There's a guy laying on the floor here here man i'm gonna join you i'll wake up at a uh, nine all right go ahead and eat that and then i can immediately take some uh anti-toxicity pills oh my god dude look at how many holy crap dude look at how many freedom members there are right here that's insane all right well we got a lot done this episode we did the barrier and we got a honey badger repaired which is nice so next episode i guess it's time for the brain scorcher i'll see you guys next time peace